Hello, my Gabbers, and thank you for tuning in. And I'm just going to do an informational video today. And it's really talking about God and religion and um, whether or not we're taking our religion into account for what someone else uh, assimilated us into believing or um, is it is it truly is the um, word of God. So I want you to take a look at this video. It's by a gentleman by the name of Merkaba. And you can search or I'll have in his links his um, video, web video channel on YouTube. And he presents a very argumentative approach to are we really calling the true name of our Savior. So take a look at it. Let me know in your comment box about what you think. Was it an interesting video? Um, did you agree with some of the things he was saying? Or did you just find it just repulsive? But anyway, I found it very interesting. It gave me an opportunity to do a little bit more digging, do a little bit more researching, which I plan to do, and present more videos to you all so you can be in the know and try to make your own decisions when it comes to um, the religion that uh, the religion of Christianity and how it actually got founded and I'm actually doing a video on um, the boat that was named Jesus that they brought the slave people over um, from our native land so let me know what you think thank you bye bye everybody thanks for watching you know every day I'm amazed by how much people don't know about their own religion. You know, religion has so much of a mind control on people that they will just run away or not read or pay attention to anything that speaks against their religion. And they themselves don't even really follow the religion. They don't read their Bible. They don't go to church. They don't do any of those things. Yet people swear that, you know, Jesus loves them and they love Jesus and they love God, you know, every day. So I wanted to show people where they got the word God from. You know, where did the whole term of God come from? People, I mean, it's just a word. We call we call out to God, people call out to God every day. It's just words, you know, and, and me doing my research, I realized that when you trying to find out the truth about a religion or, you know, just about anything from the ancient world, you pay attention to language and you go back and you look at language. And once you start studying language, it's kind of the key to uh, deciphering where things come from or what the real meaning of a word is. Now, understand before the Bible, before Jesus, Kemet was, or Egypt. And if you pay attention to a lot of the Egyptian hieroglyphics, you will see Anubis. Anubis is the man that's standing there with the dog head. Now, the Egyptians believe that when you die, you see Anubis. And Anubis, he guides you through the afterlife. He guides you through judgment. Now, if you look at this Book of the Dead, this is Huneferous Book of the Dead. And as you can see, Anubis with a dog head is guiding him through judgment. And they are weighing his deeds on the scales of Ma'at. And he is found to be cool. He's good. Now, this is Horus. Horus is taken home before his father, Osiris. This is where the Bible stole, no man come before the father but by me, the son. So basically what they did was they took Anubis and his dog head. Now, Anubis represents who you see in the afterlife or what we think today is we see God when we die. The Egyptians believe you see Anubis. Anubis had a dog head. So they basically reversed dog and gave us God. Dog backwards is God, God backwards is dog. Now, before you think I'm crazy, I want you to consider some other things as well. Now, the Egyptians believed that the sun was God. They worshiped the sun as God. And they believed that we were all little gods and we all had a sun in us. You know, sun backwards is in us. You know, I went through this in a previous video. Now, the Egyptian God Osiris or Osiris, Sirius is basically where the system that our sun sits on. Now, Sirius is called the dog star. Now, Sirius sits in the constellation Canis Major. This is why we call dogs canines. 
So basically Anubis, he guided the spiritually blind through the afterlife. And today dogs guide the physically blind through their natural life. This is not a coincidence. So as I've said, basically they took Anubis dog head and reversed it and gave us God. Dog backwards is God or God or guide which is basically what Anubis does. He guides you, dogs guide you. This is not a play on words. This is where this stuff comes from. And what they basically did was take our history and use it against us, which is why they call it his story. His story, because it's our story, not their story. You need to study your people's so-called religion because we didn't call it religion, we didn't call God, God. It was a different name. So while you while you are studying what they gave you, they are the ones using your ancestors' knowledge and research against you. They study what your ancestors studied, and they don't give it to you. We have so many religions going out in the world. How come they never told us or gave us anything, any religion or any of the beliefs of the ancients, the Egyptians, the Mayans, any of them? How come? We don't know about this stuff. You have to do a lot of digging and research to figure any of this stuff out. But yet they themselves study these things in secret societies like the Freemasons, the Knights Templars, all the mystery schools. There's so many people who have this information. You know, the layout of Washington, D.C. itself is all Egyptian. It's all stolen. Freemasonry comes from Egypt. So they are using this stuff against you and it's your people's information it's our peoples black people so when you call out to god you need to realize that you're calling out to anubis which is basically dog spelled backwards is god and when you say amen at the end of a prayer you're calling out to amen amen ra i mean you got to start putting this stuff together it's like it's it can't be a coincidence that at the end of a prayer you say amen which corresponds to an egyptian god and then you couple that with all of the other relations in the Bible to Egyptian things. You get to see what I've been trying to tell you, that they stole all this information from Egypt. Now, you know, a few people ask me, why do they put animal heads on top of human bodies? And it's called anthropomorphized. So what they basically do is that animal represents the intellect or the way that person is, you know, so... With um, Anubis, he has a dog head because he's a guide, and dogs guide you. You know, they put a, like an owl head on top of Horus because, you know, he is wise. He's a wise person. And then the Sphinx has, a, you know, a, the body of a lion and the head of a man. And a lot of people don't couldn't figure that one out either. And it's basically saying that your intellect will rise above your animal nature. So don't give in to the animal nature. Don't give in to your anger and everything. Be wise. Be smart. Use your intellect and let that guide you through life. So people need to learn to basically let this religion thing go. I know it's a hard thing to do. It was very hard for me, very hard for me to let Jesus go. But I knew after, you know, seeing what I saw and putting everything together and all of the evidence and information just leads you to the undeniable truth that religion was created to control people, especially black people. You know, and that's the real purpose of it, as well as hiding the agenda of the ruling elite and and basically plain sight. You know, so this is this is the purpose of the Bible and religion. And you know, the Egyptians put this stuff in stone over ten thousand years ago. This stuff is old. I mean, we 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 are carbon dating things to over thirty thousand years, and. Regardless of what people may say and try to backtrack the genealogy or the time limit on the Bible, when you do the research, basically the world and the Bible is only supposed to be over 6,000 years old, a little over 6,000 years old. So not older than 7,000 years. The world, you know, not older than 7,000 years. Yet people don't want to explain dinosaurs and their existence. People think that, you know, somebody just put dinosaur fossils in the ground. And it's, it's amazing. <laughs> The stuff that religious people come up with to try to, to try to you know take up for their God, their Jesus, to try to protect them or defend him, when they themselves do not follow the religion completely or truthfully, 
when they themselves don't read the book or go to church. You know, it's amazing. But this is the hold that religion has on people and how it messes with your mind. But this was, this was my quick video. I wanted this to be quick about where the word God actually comes from. And I want to thank everybody for watching. Like, comment, share. And thanks again.